Hello guys and welcome back to another Bloodborne video. Today we're going to be starting the DLC, The Old Hunter, in New Game Plus. Um, I've cleared off a few enemies here simply because I made it through a bit and then I realised it was not recording properly. So we just walked back. Not twice, only a few enemies dead. We're going to be checking out. Okay, there's something down here. I don't think I got this item last time. The Old, old Hunter gloves. Okay. Um, I've played through The Old Hunter once. It was pretty rapid. I didn't really explore it much. It was kind of a basic playthrough just to... Get some of the nice weapons and the runes. As you can see, there's beast rune, which is pretty beast. If you have the beast claws, it actually adds a whole new move set to it, which looks pretty nice. Uh, unfortunately, my beast claws aren't much of a high level. I think I've got them at plus six at the moment. And I really need some more chunks to level them up, because I would like to do a few gameplays, or I would like to have played through the DLC with it. How it seems really hard, I struggled to get through the normal. Um, even to beat um, Vicara Melia with them, simply because I was only on plus six. And a new game plus, it really does struggle a bit. Luckily I've got the Ludwin Sword. I'm pretty much one of those players who's not too amazing at the game. So I've relied on the Ludwin Sword to get me through pretty much the entire game. And I'm going to be relying on it to get me through this one as well, hopefully. I do have it on plus 10. I think it was like the first weapon I got to plus 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not expecting that ambush. Okay. It wasn't really an ambush. I could see him. I just didn't dodge, really. Okay, this guy. Okay, okay. Could have been a rather... Bad start to this, to be honest. Actually, I think we have to walk in there to pick up the the thing from the table, didn't we? Okay, this th these enemies are never nice. Let's just let them hit each other for a while. See if we can get some nice damage. Okay, that'll do. Let's try and get... The R2 stab attack is pretty much godlike. Wow. The hell from this kid on New Game Plus. It's incredible. I'm going to struggle quite a bit here, I reckon. Okay, let's, let's charge a health. I think that guy probably got a one-hit KO in from that amount of health there, to be honest. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right. Let's calm down a bit here. Okay, a few more hits and we should be good. One more, come on. Okay. Well, if we struggle against these normal... Oh, we got six blood vials for that. Okay, that made up for it. I think we didn't waste more than we got off of them, at least. I, I think that's a good... That's a good trade. That was worth it. At this point, blood vials aren't really an issue. I just feel like if I use more blood vials on an enemy than I actually get out of it, it feels like a bit of a waste. Okay, let's pick this up. Eye pendant. Uh, we'll be fighting this guy later. For those of you who haven't played the DLC, this is one of the optional bosses. You can come back and fight him later on once we have a different object. It's not too much of a hard DLC as far as I remember. There's a few bosses, which uh, obviously Ludwins are quite a pain in the ass. Apart from that, there's only a few areas that I consider really difficult, I would say. However, I did do it a new game normal, and I was a bit over-leveled, I'd say. I was around level 100, I think, when I finished the... Maybe 110 when I finished the DLC on new game normal. So I'm expecting it to be quite a bit more challenging here, as it did seem a bit too easy on the level I was at. That's the main reason I was. Plan on doing this on new game plus. Okay, let's just quickly randomly dodge through here. I was not actually intending to hit the gun, that's what's got in the way there, no problem. Another one. Whoa, 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 no, no, no way, I did not, oh, I'm still alive, okay, that was a miracle. Let's go, I did not see that gun there, I'd never noticed that. That one was cost me my life. Could have been nasty, okay, it's fine, we survived, I'm glad we survived that, that was going to be a rather stupid death. That's the second time we've almost died now. We've only just started. Not even made it to the first boss yet. So you can imagine how well this gameplay is going to go. Let's kill this guy off. Oh, don't kill me. Okay. But no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not remember you being here. I have really bad memory for this sort of stuff. Remember where the enemies are going to be and stuff like that, to be honest. Whoa. Come on, kid. Alright, we're going to have to use the Phantom Shell here. That could have been nasty. What we keep missing? Come on. Oh my god. Alright, we're finally hitting here. Let's just keep on going. Ooh, that's stamina. I feel like I should level up my stamina more, but once it gets to 20, it just really feels like even if I leveled it up, you get like two or three more stamina. I don't feel like that's worth it. Though eventually I probably should. Just so in the long run, I can really do more dodges and attacks in a row. Because I feel like I always have lack of stamina. I'm not sure if people normally do level up over 20 or not. I just feel like I probably should eventually. There's so much other more stats I want to level up. Like um, the skill stat to use some of the other weapons. And even Blood Tinge. I want to try out some of the DLC weapons. So it feels like I need to level up so many stats. And Endurance as it's not really necessary for any weapon in 
in particular, I would like to have it leveled up for multiple reasons, obviously, even with the, the beast claws I was noticing, because it's really a spammy sort of weapon. If you don't have enough stamina, it just becomes quite tedious to keep having to stop attacking every five seconds. I believe we get ambushed in here. I should probably get torch out, but I think we'll be alright. Alright, um... You do get the weapon- oh, fuck it. I did make a separate video on this, but for those of you who don't know, you do get one of the weapons down here. The hammer, I believe. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the hammer. Is that guy dead? Well, we just won it killed. That kid, okay. Like I said, we should really use you to torch here. As soon as we grab it, we really want to just run away because this guy sort of blows up. Like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, did that other guy die? Well, that guy did not get the memo there. He should have dodged. Right, so first thing we're going to do is go and activate the shortcut. Which is just around the corner here. We could even go under the bridge or over. I find it easy to go over the bridge. Or so I thought. Simply because under the bridge, last few times I tried it, I died. Um, so I thought this was going to be an easier solution. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it out of this. Okay, we're good. And this is actually the first time we find this NPC, which we find a total of three or four times throughout the whole DLC. Um, this is the guy that gives us the, the sword that turns into a bow. Oh, yeah. Nightmares are fascinating, yeah, blah, 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 okay, that'll do. And we'll walk back here. There's some of the stuff I'm not sure if I'll be doing on this playthrough, simply because I've already done them on the previous playthrough. I might do them just to show you for those of you who are interested. Um, maybe like the getting the Gatling gun. And... Getting the Gatling gun, and there's another weapon down there to the left, which I do have separate videos on an individual, most of the weapons in the DLC. Uh, it'll be pretty difficult, so I think I'm going to give it a miss. Uh, so those of you who have played it... The cave down there where you acquire the Gatling gun is not a pleasant place to go. And I reckon on New Game Plus that is not somewhere I want to be venturing into quite yet. I might come back to it later on if I feel like I'm doing okay. But I think I'm struggling enough as it is to want to be trying anything like that. I believe that was just the blood gem. So I'm not even going to bother facing those. And if I stop fighting this guy, the rest of them are going to catch up to me. So we're just going to run straight past these. I want to get to Ludwin. I don't know if I want to get to Ludwin as soon as possible. Not quite honestly. I just said I did. But I'm really not looking forward to this. It's going to be a nasty battle. I struggled quite a bit being overleveled a new game normal. So new game plus is really going to be quite a big issue for me, I reckon. I'm just picking up these items because I can't remember what some of them were. And maybe they're useful, like frenzied stuff or maybe chunks. Chunks are what I'm really looking for and I would really like some. Just level the beast claws up. I wasted a lot leveling up the moonlight sword. How I feel like it's not... I don't know. I don't really enjoy using the moonlight sword on this game. I'm not sure why. Maybe in PvP it's a bit more fun. However, the way it just wasted up, wastes ammo every time you go for the R2 attack feels a bit unnecessary. Okay. These has got me like the worst type of enemies, the ones with this massive beast cutter, I believe it's called. Well, I forgot to show you again where to get the beast cutter at the start, as I forgot. Oh, fuck. Ooh, nasty. No! Ooh, that was... Come on. Need to knock it back one more time. I, okay, no way. Ooh, that was far too close there. Let's go for jump attack. No way, we didn't reach. No, come on, what the what? The spam. Oh my god. That was nasty. I have like, I should have gone back when I made it to the land. I should have really gone back to charge my potion. I do have like, I don't know, probably 400 stacked away, but I just didn't really think about going back. I should hopefully better make it to the next bonfire. It's just, well, bonfire. I keep calling them bonfires. Like, how much ever time goes past, I will continue calling them bonfires. I was going to say it fell out the sky as a bird, I suppose. Lanterns, lamps, whatever. There we go. <sighs> okay, we are struggling away through a new game plus. We have 104. I've noticed since I've gotten the new game plus, the amount of um, blood echoes, I almost called those souls as well, I really need to start adapting. Um, by the time I finally get used to saying, probably blood echoes and fucking lamps, it'll probably be Dark Souls 3 and we'll be back on the other thing, so it's going to be the same problem all over again. But anyway, yeah, we're just around the corner. I'm not sure if I should just rush towards the, the lantern. Just to make sure I don't die here. As these guys can be a right pain in the arse. Especially New Game Plus, I really don't want to start imagining them. We'll probably face him after we get to the lamp. We want to get to the lamp first, just to make sure. Go back and maybe recharge some of our potions. And down there's the... The Wiggling Saw, I believe it's called, or something like that. The Cookie Cutter, or the Pizza Cutter, as many people call it. We are quickly going to go back. Maybe see if we can level up with 104,000. If not, we'll use some of our... um. If not, we'll use some of our cold bloods to quickly level up, because I don't really want to use lose 100,000 down here. The level I'm on, 100,000, still quite enough. It's about enough for one level. 
So I'd rather not lose it. We're here and spend what we've got left on maybe bullets or potions. Oh, well, I've only have 180 potions left. Those went down fast. I think I lost over 100 potions um, in the well. If any of you have been to the third area in the DOC, you'll know what part I'm talking about. You go down to the well, and there's these two, like, frog-like massive creatures, if you can call them frogs. And that's to get one of the, the weapons off the DOC. And it's really not a pleasant time down there. I have died there, and I never beat him. I never beaten the frog things down there. It got so nasty. I, was, I gave up in the end just before coming to New Game Plus. I'll probably try it again down here sometime. But I must have lost easy over 100 potions and that. I attempted it so many times, so many different ideas. It went terrible. I even once tried walking through the cave at the end of the game and maybe tried because I thought I might be able to get a drop attack or hit him from a distance from the top ledge. That didn't work either, so that was kind of a fail. Uh, we'll be trying to do it again on this new playthrough, though. New Game Plus is really going to be difficult. We're going to try and take out this guy. Actually, I feel like we should at least attempt this. Probably not going to go as well as I'm hoping it's going to go. Okay, we do a fair amount of damage here, actually, with our R2. Ooh, okay. I really need to start learning to dodge. Okay, well, there we go. I'm also intrigued to see how much um, blood echoes we get out of this guy in New Game Plus. Whoa, that was nasty. No. What the fuck? Oh, what? Oh, oh my god, I did not see that second one behind him. I thought, how is that guy attacking? Well, I've hit him. Oh, I really want to finish that. I at least want to finish the one off in the back. Let's finish this guy's way now. Okay, we want to be careful with the other one. What is that? I did not know what that guy's about to do. I didn't really want to find out either, though, to be honest. First successful dodge. Oh, wow, I was gonna say that's the first successful dodge we've done all video. And the other guy hit me with his fucking weapon. Alright, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, we're gonna quit go there and finish that guy. We've got 15,000 of that kid. Nice. Okay, I don't really want to die now considering this guy sucks still. Whoa, the expansion range on that is incredible. Come on, one more here. Okay, finally. Okay, well, it's kind of worth 30,000, I suppose. I still feel like 30,000 is a lot, even if we're like on New Game Plus and it requires 100,000 to level up. We got six Blood Vials out of that. I'm not sure how much we used. I'd say about equivalent. Oh, we got another six up here. That's nice. Down here, I'm not sure if any of you guys know what this guy's all about. Like, I don't know. It just seems weird. Maybe it's just a random NPC. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just a random corpse. How if you do co-op, this guy's like transparent, like the NPCs. So, so your, like, teammates can't fuck up your game and stuff by killing important NPCs. And this guy's transparent as well, which really weirds me out. The fact I, I'm scared of killing him in case there's something important. Have I played for the DLC and there's no signs? I've looked at the wiki and that, and there's literally no signs. He doesn't have a name as an NPC. He really has no no use as far as I know. However, I don't really want to kill him just in case. Okay, this is where shit's about to get nasty. Uh, okay, okay, that was not what I was expecting. Oh. New game plus Ludwin, here we go. How was an unsigned beast? A great terror looms. Oh, my pig is just coming. You know what this guy reminds me of? If any of you guys have watched Full Metal Alchemist, you know that, like, the... I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a... There's a part where a hybrid type thing gets built, let's just say. Out of a certain person. I don't want to give anything away for those of you who are maybe still watching it, maybe by out of coincidence. But I'm pretty sure those of you who have watched it will know who I mean. It's kind of depressing seeing that, to be honest. Okay, we are getting really annihilated here. It was really late at night when I finished this boss, so I really can't really remember the moveset whatsoever, what I was doing. I was here for a good, probably almost an hour trying to beat this kid. No, I said an hour is probably an exaggeration, maybe just over 30 minutes. Like I said, I was pretty overleveled for the new game normal. And I'm really getting demolished here, I need to start learning this guy's dodges. I do remember reading somewhere, actually, this guy's weak to fire. I did buy some fire potions, specifically, not fire potions, sorry. Um, some fire paper, specifically for this reason. Um, didn't equip it though, obviously. I'm a bit of a mon. Probably should at least enchant my weapon now, I mean, you know, make it look like I'm making an effort. 
Whoa, okay. Nice, you're waiting for me to waste those bullets on that phantom shell. That could have gone a lot better. Not gonna lie. Uh, actually, yeah, what, I almost forgot again. We're gonna equip the fire paper. It's not as if we almost had him or anything. We just, I feel like... Uh, we're gonna have Molotovs just in case shit gets nasty. Whoa, okay. I don't want these fire papers are fucking expensive. I really don't want to use it unless I think I'm actually gonna kill him, if you know what I mean. Let's just put this at him. Ah, there's a fair amount of damage from Molotov. I throw a Molotov at at cost, the final boss of it, I swear down it done two damage. It's the most depressing thing I've seen in my life. Alright, let's just waste the fire paper, let's go for it. Ugh, I really don't want to die after using this fail. That's like twelve grand of paper. Well, that's, yeah, this guy's definitely weak against fire, that's for sure. Even without the eye worm thing, even if that's not a legit thing, this guy's definitely weak against fire. Wow, look at that, we've got a nice knockback there already. Whoa, 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 no, 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 please, no, please, no, 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 no. Okay, are we gonna make away from that? No, oh, no, that's far too close, man. Let's try single wielding this shit again. Oh my god, where are you going, mate? Even if I don't die, the fire paper's being wasted here if I don't hit it. Whoa! It's a nice. I think that's the first time I've ever dodged that attack. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm gonna be careful here, mate. No! Oh, did not see that. Oh, wow, we dodged it. That was nice. Okay, our fire pitch. I don't really want to waste another one. I probably should use them even now or never, because if I use one at a time and then die, it's going to be probably worse. Ooh. I don't know, wait, if I get him to half health, I might bother, I'll try using the fire paper. Have I was doing quite a bit better with dual handed. This guy needs to stop repeating that attack. No, no. Alright. Dodge. No, wrong time. Wrong time again. Where is he? Fuck. He took his time there. I luckily dodged that still by miracle. Did not dodge that one so smoothly. I've wasted so much potions already. Oh, the last time I hit him was fucking ages ago. Come on, man! Oh my god. Well, there goes the fire paper. Pretty much 15 potions. We're going to start opening the tab. I may as well include the Molotov and the oil urn we used as well, I suppose. This is probably going to be a death montage. Whoa, nasty. Finally, I thought I was never going to do that. This goes to prove, with hard work and a bit of dedication, anything's possible, guys. So, if I can do it, you can do it too. Yeah, that guy may have helped me a bit. So, anyway, guys, before we finish off this episode, uh, I just want to quickly show you something that you can get the Moonlight Sword without destroying the head. All you have to do is put the church suit on. I think you only need one part of the set. I'm just going to put the, the helmet thing on and the, the top piece, the torso. And as you can see, it will open up a different type of dialogue and he'll give you the Moonlight Sword if you put it on yes. Um, just a small lore factor there, you can easily get the sword exactly the same just by killing him. To know I did not suffer such denigration, thank you kindly. Even in this darkest of nights, I see the moonlight. And there we have it guys, the Moonlight Sword. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Any suggestions, we really appreciate it. Just leave them down in the comments and we'll see you next time.